Hey guys, what's up? I uh, the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live on War Day video, and we are in a potluck right now. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fit the roster, but uh, because of that, I'm going to be recording some attacks during this war. Um, should have some great stuff, and uh, looks like it's still pretty close to start here. Uh, 1941 for us, 2551 for them. Uh, so pretty similar ratios there. Uh, it should be a close war and uh, should get some good attacks from this one. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, I'll be back with the first attack. Okay, so here we go with the first live attack. We got, it looks like Greg going in here and sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, I'll try to be better on the next few attacks, but uh, gotta hit record and get in at the same time. So anyway, uh, Greg come in here with what looks to be a, a three golem attack, probably some bowlers in the CC. Uh, sprinkling in a few hogs there to get some defenses. That's all good stuff. Some baby dragons for the funnel. Uh, everything moving in, and as long as he keeps his troops together, keeps them uh, raged up, I think he should have success against this base. A little bit late on the poison, but uh, those minions should go down relatively quickly. Uh, you can see the bowlers making their way through. Uh, the bowlers really need to stay behind the golems, um, but they're starting to kind of go off to the side here and get shot down. Uh, so it's really important that on these type of attacks that your golems are doing all the tanking. Uh, still kind of hard to tell how this is going to shape up. Starting to send in some of his hogs here. Doesn't have any heals. There's the heal, and I think that's a good decision. Uh, he, he did have one heal, actually. To drop that heal, uh, get some of the hogs, and also get the bowlers and stuff healed back up. Um, here come his hogs. Uh, just has a few of them to flank kind of the outside of this base. Everything looking okay. The queen and the king both are down. Has a few bowlers, um, which are going to do some damage here. But I think, because there's still going to be some giant bombs, probably near that air defense. Uh, there might be a double set even. Um, that could be pretty damaging to his hogs. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, boom, those hogs are done. Uh, so it looks like this one is not going to be a three-star. Good try to Greg, uh, but things are just going to kind of peter out right here. Um, I think the bowlers and the queen uh, kind of got away from the golems. The golems didn't tank enough. Um, and because of that, things just didn't get as deep into the base as he would have wanted. And the hogs had to deal with too much. So they go down, and then the attack is pretty much over. So nice try to Greg. Um, we're going to go ahead and back out, make sure there's nothing else going on, uh, which there isn't, and I'll be right back with the next attack. All right, here we go. We got Anthony going in here uh, against number 22. You can see it looks like he has a uh, Queen Walk La Luna attack cooked up. Uh, so let's see how this shapes up. A lot of those air defenses are pretty exposed out there on the top of the base. Um, although this guy is focusing most of his, um, the rest of his air targeting defenses on the bottom. So uh, there's a good chance he's probably loading up with traps and stuff down at the bottom there. But still, those air defenses are the most important thing. And uh, we see here, we got some giants going in. It's kind of an HG, uh, HB opener, uh, which is what we're seeing a lot more recently. You saw it in the base destruction video, is people uh, bring in the... Uh, HGHB beginning, that kill squad, and using that to take out a number of air defenses, the queen, and then using balloons for the rest of the base. So right here, it looks like he only has one Lava Hound, but he's going to get all four air defenses, and because of that, I think that one Lava Hound should be uh, just fine. Uh, he's already starting to crush the bottom of the base a little bit, some of the bowlers getting in there, doing some damage, uh, but the kill squad has pretty much done its job, just waiting on the air part of the attack, has a haste. Uh, for those balloons as they move through. Uh, we'll see how this shapes up. The queen going to probably get in there, get a little more value. Her healers are pretty much down at this point. Just has one healer with a tiny bit of health left up. Uh, so she'll get a little more, still has her ability. Uh, but at some point, he should deploy the air part of the attack. Still has a minute 30, so not really too pressed on, t on time. Uh, but right here, I think the ability is about to go down. He'll get like two archer towers, uh, maybe even a Tesla. So pretty good value there. And uh, there go the balloons. That one Lava Hound is just going to sit on that mortar for right now. And it looks like we're getting the... Uh, oh, there we go. Um, that Lava Hound is kind of sitting out there, but it should make its way in. At least tank for some of these defenses. Uh, soak up some of those traps. All that's good. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a ton of traps in this area. Just looking at how this guy set his base up. Uh, so that is something to deal with. But still, um, all air defenses are down. Still has a good shot at this. Uh, the balloons are starting to kind of get eaten up right here. Yeah, I don't think this is actually going to be a three-star. Uh, looked like it might have been. I think he was a little bit late on the uh, air part of the attack with the balloons and stuff because I uh, didn't get any tanking value from his kill squad. 
Uh, everything had petered out by the time he started with the air part of the attack. So uh, tough base. I think this is tr trying to bait you into doing something like that and kind of loading up on Teslas and air traps at the bottom of the base here to try to wreck any kind of uh, La Loon attack. So good try to Anthony. Uh, maybe this base will get cleaned up later. Uh, let's go ahead and back out, see if we have anything else. It looks like a defense, uh, which I won't show for the integrity of our bases. But anyway, uh, just because we have time, you can see starting to get a lot of these Town Hall 9s 3 starred uh, but still have quite a few to go. I already got a Town Hall 10 3 star, which I wish I could have caught for you guys, but couldn't quite do it. And uh, as far as what they're doing to us, it's pretty similar getting the 9 started. They haven't really started on our 10s yet. Uh, but I think we're going to start trying to get some scouts in as well. You can see, I think that is a scout right there. Yep, uh, starting to get some nines in on some scouts uh, because it is tough to coordinate these attacks, especially during the, the work week. So uh, we'll try to get these attacks in as early as possible. Um, but as far as for uh, this video, I'm going to stop tonight and then go ahead and start recording tomorrow morning. So the next attacks you see, if everything goes to plan, uh, will come from tomorrow morning, hopefully some Town Hall 10 attacks. Um, so that should be fun, and uh, if everything goes right, uh, you should see that next. Be right back with those. All right, guys, I am back this morning. Uh, next day, only about an hour and 30 minutes left in the war. So we have five attacks. They have five attacks. Looks like we're going to be able to pull out the win here unless anything too crazy happens. Um, just taking a quick look at the bases, you can see that they got the three-star up top there on our top ten as well as a three-star there on one of our kind of mid-level tens. Um, they still have a few Town Hall 9s, I have three of them uh, left to take out, and it uh, looks like of their attacks, three of them are kind of high-level attacks. Um, actually, I think this is also a Town Hall 10, so uh, they, they do have quite a few uh, Town Hall 10 attacks left. I'm trying to figure out where they're... Okay, that's all five of their attacks, so um, they're probably going to have to dip down, take out our Town Hall 9s, and assuming this person is attacking, it's kind of late to have his attacks for his level, but I'm not sure what's going on there. Regardless, though, we're up by four stars, so uh, we're going to see some more action uh, from our top guys. Uh, we have four Town Hall 11 attacks and that one Town Hall 10 attack, so I'm assuming that we're going to try to hit number four and uh, maybe add a few stars, probably take out number two uh, with at least a two star there and maybe look to three-star these bases right here. So we've definitely set ourselves up set ourselves up very nicely for a, a good finish here to this war. So great job to everyone uh, in this potluck so far, and let's see if we can finish it off. So I'm going to hang around. Hopefully I don't have to wait too long for any attacks, and I'll maybe catch one or two uh, towards the end of the war. So stick around. I'll be right back with the attack. All right, here we go. We got Captain Cold. Uh, going in on what looks to be a dip attack, um, has some miners queued up, has uh, yeah pretty much just miners, I mean he has a baby dragon, a few wizards, uh, looks like for funneling purposes, but he's coming at this base, pretty much all miners, I assume there's a golem, or uh, yeah, golem in the CC uh, to kind of lead his heroes in there, typically what you see is people just coming in with the, uh, the golem, the heroes, uh, trying to get a, a chunk of the base taken out, usually the queen, um, the Inferno Tower, that kind of stuff, uh, a gem spell to help that out, and then just coming in with the miners, because at Town Hall 11, those level 4 miners are so powerful. Uh, you can see he's sprinkling some miners in with his kill squad, and it looks like he's starting to deploy the main force on the bottom of the base here uh, to make their way in. So good job with the funnel there, taking out that Town Hall, making sure those miners stay pretty much in the base, has the poison for the CC troops, uh, needs to pop that King's ability, just got it off. Still not going to get great value, because uh, right there the king's going to go down in just a moment. Uh, so didn't get great value for the king's ability. Um, actually, he did stay up for a while. It looks like he's about to go down right here. Um, but Oh no, he actually went all the way through his ability, so good job there. Uh, the hero's making their way through. The miners have that heal. These level 2 Inferno Towers can't do much to the miners. And unfortunately, the warden is on the opposite side of the base, so he's not going to get the Eternal Tomb on those miners. But it doesn't really matter. This base is crushed. Uh, still has a heal spell, which it looks like he'll be able to swag because he doesn't need it. That baby dragon actually still is up, but I think the warden might take it out. Or maybe the queen, I'm not sure. Uh, but the baby dragon still is up some way or another. Just the queen never locked on to it. Uh, but not going to be a big deal. It's not going to uh, stop this attack from being a 3-star. So awesome stuff there. Uh, pretty uh, easy dip right there. 
uh, for Captain Cold, getting the job done. So anyway, let's back out, take a look at the war. Um, it's about, just because you probably couldn't see the beginning there, it's about 15 minutes later from when I checked in. Um, that was on number four right there. So awesome stuff. That was the base that hadn't been hit yet. So there's a three star. Uh, we'll see what Ginge does with his attack. I'm not sure how he's going to use it. And then um, we have uh, three Town Hall 11 attacks left. So I'll try to stick around for at least one more attack um, to make this video complete. So stay right there and I'll be back with the next attack. Alright, so unfortunately I'm actually going to have to wrap it up there because I have some things going on. I can't hang out for the last 45 minutes or so. Um, so unfortunately that's all you're going to see from this war, but I hope you guys like the attacks that you saw. Uh, definitely is going to be a close ending, but I think uh, we, we're going to have a few stars on them when everything uh, finishes here, especially with that last three star uh, by Captain Cold. So great job to both clans. I look forward to kind of watching the last few attacks when I can and uh, more videos coming out this weekend. So uh, stick around and hope you guys are liking what you're seeing on the channel recently. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.